Welcome back. Wild accusations tonight against a local sheriff and his high-ranking commanders. A federal civil lawsuit claims that Pasco Sheriff Chris Nacco and department leaders abused their power, harassing and retaliating against employees. Eight on your side investigative reporter Masa Saidi has been digging into the lawsuit. She joins us now after speaking with one of the alleged victims, a deputy. And Stacy Josh, when this lawsuit was first filed, just three people were making these claims. Tonight, 20 former employees say they have been abused, intimidated, or pushed out. These are just some of the men and women named in a new civil lawsuit filed in federal court. The 427 page document states that Pasco Sheriff Chris Nako and department leaders are, quote, intoxicated with power and will physically abuse, intimidate, incarcerate in order to ensure absolute control and a reign of terror. It's a shocking allegation against a sheriff beloved by many. Right to know it's your Pasco Sheriff's Office. You have the right to know what we are doing. Tonight, the department only saying they've successfully defended previous lawsuits by some of the same parties. They're confident the allegations will be proven false in court. They ruined my name, so I couldn't go get a job someplace else. Um, it doesn't surprise me that they do it to other people. One of the 20 former employees who brought this suit speaking to aid on your side. The story of former Corporal Cliff Baltzer starts with the love for his dog. After years on the job, Baltzer says his new boss started to target him. They said his canine Tundra was performing poorly. When he disagreed, there was an investigation and an alleged threat. Gave him a hard time with this investigation that he would put my dog down and he could have that blamed on me in social media. Baltzer says he believed his supervisor would follow through. That's when he started asking about buying Tundra. In order to buy the dog, you essentially had to resign, you're saying? Yes. Tonight, others also saying they were wrongfully let go or pushed out. A training supervisor claims he was fired for blowing the whistle on gender discrimination. Another manager lost his job last year. He says a woman posted a Pasco deputy's old mugshot on Facebook. Supervisors allegedly instructed him to look up and find any information he could on the woman and her family and then to target them. He claims he refused and was fired. And that man was a former FBI agent. Now we are just starting to dig into this lawsuit and speak with all of the parties involved. We're going to stay on top of this story. And if you would like, you can read the full lawsuit for yourself on our website and app. Wow, you have a lot to get through there. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> all right, thanks for Thank that. You.